This tip is going to be one of the more basic ones, but it's actually surprising how often people aren't comfortable with cut, copy, and paste in the clipboard, or at least the concepts behind it. So let's go through a quick cut, copy, paste example. I'm going to run Notepad to use for our examples here. And I'm going to start with a paragraph worth of text. This is actually text from Bacon Ipsum. Uh, it's just a spoof of the Lorem Ipsum default text that you see many, many places. I'm going to go ahead and have Word, or Notepad wrap the text for me so that we can see it all. If we select some text, I'll just select the first five words here. If I copy, which would be Control C on the keyboard, but I'm going to use the mouse here, right clicking on it and clicking on copy. What I've done is I've made a copy of the selected text and squirreled it away in an area in Windows known as the clipboard. It's known as that because it kind of acts as a virtual clipboard, a physical real world clipboard that you can clip things onto. The default clipboard can hold only one thing at a time. Now, if I click somewhere else, I'm going to add a few new lines here to make it obvious that I'm below the paragraph. If I paste, paste is nothing more than copying from the clipboard to the current location of your cursor. I can use Control V, or in this case, I'm right clicking again and I will use paste. All that did was copy from the clipboard to where the cursor was. It didn't change the clipboard in any way. The clipboard is still there. And in fact, if I hit paste again, I'll get another copy. I'm going to go ahead and use Control V this time because you can see that it's a very fast way to replicate something that needs replicating if you need to have several copies of a sentence or a word or a picture or whatever. So, so far we've copied something that exists by selecting it and right clicking and hitting copy. Instead this time I'm going to use cut. Cut is Control X on the keyboard. But again, to make it obvious, I'm going to go ahead and use cut here. And you'll see the text we cut has been removed. It's been cut from the place that it was, but it's been copied to the clipboard. In other words, it was moved instead of just copied from your document to the clipboard. Now, if I go down, I'm going to insert a couple of blank lines again. If I go down and paste, you can see that what I'm pasting is the text that I had cut. Again, you can paste multiple times if you like. Pasting does not affect the clipboard. So in summary, copy copies whatever you have selected to this magical place known as the clipboard. Cut removes whatever it is you've selected, but moves it to the clipboard. And then paste simply takes whatever is in the clipboard and places it wherever your cursor happens to be. Now, my example here has been all about text, but cut, copy, and paste and the clipboard itself work on many, many different kinds of objects from images to text to formatted text to audio to any number of different things depending on the application in which you happen to be using it.